Hello, you guys, everything to not side of it. I'm Sophia, and welcome back to a new video. Today, we're gonna be doing my fall and September TBR. I'm probably gonna keep adding on to this TBR and taking things off. It just means that I'm probably not gonna read any books of this TBR. I mean, maybe like three. For my summer TBR, I literally I think I read four out of the 13. Now I have 12. And <laughs> I'm going to England. And if you're a true follower, you know that I, when I go to England, I buy like 30 books. Um, and I've been back in my thriller era. So I have like a whole list of like thriller books that I want to like find. So um, they're probably going to be, they're probably going to be added onto this list as well. I already put all of them in my TBR card so I can just grab and show you. So firstly, I think I want to finish the Inheritance games, like the series. Wait. Can you see the little lights? I hope you- Oh my god, you can! Okay, love. Cute. So, I really want to finish the series. So, I have read The Inheritance Games, which is the first book. And then you have The Hawthorne Legacy and The Final Gambit. So, I, I'm i only really gonna, like, force, like, the book that's gonna be mainly from this is the second one. Because I want to at least get that one. But it would obviously be yummy if I had the whole thing. Uh, especially because it is kind of dark academia, rich people, big villa vibes. And that definitely fits in with the fall. The same author has written the natural series, which is basically like criminal minds, but then with like teenagers and stuff. And then new covers, you literally can't buy them yet in my country on Amazon. Um, only the old ones, and those are also expensive, and I'm really scared the new covers are going to be expensive. So, I'm a fat fly. I hope we can find them somewhere for like a good price and soon, because they sound so good, and I... Why is everyone reading them and not me? I like love Criminal Minds. I love it. Like, okay, there's probably bigger fans than me. Okay. But I love it and I adore it. And if I had that in a teenage book form, I think I'd die. I think I'd just collapse and fall on the floor. But yeah, so just these two. This was like a box that I got. I already have the first one, but it was 15 pounds. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. These two books kind of go in hand. These two are part of the same series. I've been obsessing over this one series and it's just like the Helen Gray series and it's a like detective inspector series. And the detective inspector is a woman and I like that. But she's an absolute babe. She has like her own issues but what I really like about the book though, it's kind of like about the series, it's kind of in like a third person perspective. But then you also get sometimes you get the killer or the like just the, the, the perpetrator. Um, you get sometimes you get the point of view of the victims, you just get point of views of the other detectives and it just makes it so much more interesting and even though some of these books are like over 400 pages, like the first one, it was so, it was so fat but I still like flew through it because it just makes it so much easier to read. Um, and these are the next two books in the series, so I've read the first, so I've read the seventh because that was the first one that I found and then I realized it was a series and I was like, okay, I want to get the whole series. So I've read the seventh and then I read the first and second one. I had all of them except for three and eight. But now I found three. Well, my mom got three. Um, because I tried to get the whole series, like, secondhand. And I've gotten most of them secondhand, but not all of them. But I had, like, okay, I had four, five, six, and seven. But I had didn't have three. So my mom was like, I'm just here. Here's three. So you can continue. Also, because my grandma also loves the series. So basically, after I've read it, I give it to my grandma. But these stories are always really, really crazy. So this is three. This is four, as far as I know. But yeah, and what I like about these books, they're often like they're really big font. Um, the chapters are like relatively short, like they are actually really short. Um, this book is like 440 pages. Who knows, maybe I'll even get to the, to the fifth one because these are addictive and like the stories are always really insane. Then I really want to read Nothing More to Tell and this is by Karen, Mc Karen, Karen M. McManus, Jesus. And she's written all of these books and I <laughs> own all of them. So this is obviously the... Um, the One of Us is Lying series, and the third one just came out, like the third and final one. And I do really want to get that one, but I have all of them in paperback, and it's in hardcover, so I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. I only haven't read this one, and You'll Be the Death of Me, but I've heard mixed reviews of You'll Be the Death of Me, and this one sounds really good, so I just decided to put this one on my TBR, and then if I want to read the... You'll the and if I then want to read You'll Be the Death of Me, I can, but... This is just going to be mainly on my TBR. Yeah, it says, A body in the woods, a cold case turned hot. A story to die for. True crime can leave false trail. And these are YA, so they're often, like, they're, they're always really easy to get through. Since I've read four of them, like... Because these are always, like, interesting and they're fun. But they're not always too heavy. Like, Helen Grace can be heavy. 
and it can like it's gruesome at some points also the series has like 12 books just for the record this and all the books have sprayed edges which i really like because normally that's like a thing you don't really find but the author always always puts sprayed edges on the books and i i think that's cute and then i want to read the thursday murder club that's actually that's such a lie i want to read the man who died twice okay can i can i explain my mistake it says really big the thursday murder club on the back and i but that's the first book this is the second book that i read the first book um literally like a year and a half ago i think and i gave it like a three star and a very low three star i was so confused and then because it was kind of like a, a whodunit and then when they told us who had done it I was like, who even is this person? Like, am I supposed to know why this is such a big deal? Like, what? It was just because there were so many people and the perspectives kept changing, but they didn't tell you. It wasn't clear who it necessarily was. And normally, you know, after a while, you kind of get a hang of the characters. And I feel like I just, the hang of the characters was, it was dropped. The hanger, somebody broke it. I don't know. Over time, I heard that multiple people had this issue and that it wasn't just me and that I am not in fact stupid but a lot of people said that the second one is better so i bought it like also like a year ago to give it another try and i haven't so far not and the thing is the, the i liked all the characters i liked the feel of the book but i just didn't know what was going on and that was such a shame oh my god wait look wait look what i just realized the first book is red the second book is blue and the third book is green that's the same with this series i'm so intelligent then i want to read six years so this was on a tbr a couple of that was a nice burp oh this is, was a while ago this was on my tbr in may but i i of course didn't read it otherwise it wouldn't be on this tbr but um yeah so what i also said now to be on my boyfriend um i'm kind of forcing him to learn how to read well not to learn that sounds like he's actually like stupid he's actually really smart he gets really good grades he gets better grades than me but he's just not he's not a reader um even though i think he would enjoy it but he's just lazy so i was like okay here's some secondhand books i brought you from england go read them and he's finished one book go him and then i made him a goodreads and then he now in holiday because i'm on holiday with him and his family he, he literally it felt like he read more than me because technically he did because for him he read so much and I read so little compared to my own, like how much I could have read. So I felt in a way he was kind of, he was kind of outdoing me. And then he got obsessed with updating his Goodreads. And I was like, I know, the serotonin. Um, and he finally got why I always update my Goodreads like the second I read like at least 10 pages. But yeah, so all the books that I always bring up are Harlan Coben books. Um, he was like, I can't just read the same author all the time. I was like, yeah, you can, but fair enough. If you guys have like good recommendations for like, my boyfriend that are just like easy probably thriller i don't think he's ready to go into romance yet but something easy to read quick not too long please let me know and he'll appreciate it i'll update his goodreads i kept giving him these harlan coba books and i hadn't read one myself so i felt kind of like and then finally in july i did read one uh, but that was a ya but i got the hype um, so I have two myself. I have this one and another one, but this one just sounds better. It's like six years ago, Jake watched Melody marry another man. Six years ago, he made a promise to stay away. Now, Naomi's husband has been murdered. And Jake has decided that six years is long enough. That's why it's called six years. Hey. And it sounds intriguing. It sounds good. I don't know why I never picked it up. I think I was scared. Um, because it's something unknown. Okay, moving on. Yesterday, I am 99% sure this wasn't my fault to be our last year. I now want to be 100% sure. Well, it was on my October TBR, so that counts. And the thing is, I got this book and me and my mom were like, oh my god, this sounds so good. It sounds like a mix of like two books I'd read at that time that I absolutely loved. Because it's like, yeah, the, they say that the body of your husband's mistress has been found and they think your husband killed her two days ago, but you have this memory loss thing. Um, yeah, you rely on your diary to tell you what, what you've, where you've been, who you love and what you've done. So she can't remember properly. But a diary? That is not so true. Like, okay, it's smart, but I don't know. I don't think I trust myself enough. Oh yeah, no, now I remember her. Her name was Sophia, and I found it weird because my name is Sophia. And it's like, it's not even spelled with an F. It's like my proper name. It's with PH. Because often, okay, often when you see it in shows or books, it's often with an F. And also if you look for like, you know how they have like sometimes like, 
key change or like little things in like different countries with um, like tourist uh, tourist locations. They have it like with your name or when they used to have Coca-Cola bottles um, with your name on it. I would always look for my name and it would almost always be with an F. And then when I found it with PH, I'd actually die. Oh my god, I didn't even realize what it said on the cover. How do you, how do you solve a murder when you only remember dot 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 yesterday? I should really pay more attention to things. I want to read You Were Gone. So this book is by Tim Weaver. Oh my god. Some, okay, do you see that some, uh, that it has like drops on it? So some of these drops, I don't know if you can see it on camera. Oh yeah, here. Some of these drops are like 3D. Oh my god, because I was like touching it and I was like, this feels weird. It feels like a grippy sock. But, um, oh my god, did you see that? Almost hit my eye. Rewind. I own three Tim Weaver books. I own Missing Pieces, You Were Gone, and The Blackbird. The Blackbird is the most recent one in the series, but um, I've owned Missing Pieces for like literally like almost three years now. And I feel like it's time that I finally read one if I already own three. Um, and I checked which one was the earliest in the little series, and that was this one. And this one does sound very interesting because it says, a woman walks into the police station. She has no ID, just a piece of paper with the name David Raker with David Raker on it. She says she's his wife. And the woman looks just like her. She knows everything about him and their life together. But David buried his wife eight years ago. And a day later, she vanishes and then she's just gone. Babe was like, hey, let me fuck up your life. <laughs> and I'm gonna dip again. Um, and now the husband is like a prime suspect in the disappearance. Like, it sounds good, and I don't know why I've never read it. Um, actually, I do know. I'm lazy. And then the last three books are kind of all the same vibe. These are all, like, dark academia. So the first two books kind of go in hand. I can't really read one without the other. Well, I can, but it would feel illegal that if I then now read one and then be like, oh, yeah, no, I'll just read the other one next fall. Like, I, I don't feel like I can do that. So it's If We Were Villains. Oh, my God, this one's kind of her. And The Secret History. It looks like this because I got it from my school library and they were selling it, so... How many pages does this have? Excuse- Wait... I didn't know this was 600 pages plus because it does not look like- These literally look like they're almost the same size. And this is 400, this is 600. How- No, that is not a 200 page difference. That is- That is literally the same size. Okay, maybe th this one just has thinner pages or something. I've just heard so many good things about this and so many good things about this. I heard that this one's a lot easier to read. I think they're all like obsessed with Shakespeare. This is a Shakespeare poster, by the way. So, kind of felt fitting. And like, this is said to be a modern classic and I own these two. So I should kind of read them, shouldn't I? And I don't really know what this one's about. I don't really know what this one's about. And I feel like that's the best way to keep it. But I think people say you should read them, the secret history first and then if it were villains. I don't think anyone's read them the other way around. So this one definitely has priority. Don't know if I'm going to get to this because if you guys didn't know, um, I am going into my senior year. I'm going into grade 12. Um, and I do the Abbey and the Abbey is not, doesn't let you go easy. I still have to finish my extended essay and I'm in summer holiday. The deadline is the first day of school. Anyway, loving life. Um, so I'm gonna be busy with like IAs, orals, all that stuff, and I don't even know if I'm gonna read- I don't know how many books I'm gonna be able to read in the next school year, probably like five, but maybe I can make my English teacher proud if I read this because my English teacher has a serious vendetta against me. I don't even know what I've done to her, but she hates me. Like, she literally has a passion of hatred for me. I probably read the most books as than anyone in the entire year. And then you're like, like, okay, okay, story time, story time. I have been getting, okay, so the, this is the IP system. Um, the highest grade you can get in DP is seven, the lowest is one, a pass is four, right? Whole year straight, on all my essays, all of them, I've gotten straight fours. And I usually get like fives and sixes. That's when it's the one to eight, okay? IB is confusing, I know. And I'm like, what am I doing? And then, okay, she kept telling me, okay, you're improving, you're improving. And I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. Um... And then this one time, because she was like, yeah, you're back vocabulary. Of course, there's something with my vocabulary if I can't even say the word vocabulary. Um, but she was like, your vocabulary is kind of lacking. So, um, yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, well, what can I do to improve my vocabulary? And I don't know what you, I don't know what I was expecting. And she literally said, yeah, maybe you should read more. I, I don't think I actually said anything. I don't think I like responded because I was like, what do you mean? 
No, she and she told me to read like essays and stuff. And then, okay, I'm gonna stop doing that because see, my friends are used to it. I don't think you are. You, your little individual. I don't think you're used to it. I'm joking. Oh, did you see that? That literally went like right past my, right past my head, yeah? Picture of Dorian Gray. This was all my TBR, fall TBR last year. I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a smart little lady. I am gonna be cool and quirky and fun and I'm gonna read classics. And I got a bunch of beautiful classics from my mom. I got this one, Wuthering Heights, and I got a fancy version, like cloth bound classic. And I got, I think, uh, Pride and Prejudice, but I've never read them. And I've heard that the picture of Dorian Gray is, and just Jane Austen in general is very, very good to just get into classics. I don't think I'm ever gonna be a classics girly but I want to have some experience and people say that this is actually just kind of gossip and I love Jane Austen books as well it's just like gossip and I've heard that this is really good so and I don't actually think it's that long yeah it's like literally 200 something pages like 210 I can read that in like a day and then read like four other books yeah convince me to read this um I probably should that was my fault to VR. Um, I literally decorated my whole room for fall already, um, well kind of also because I was filming this video, so I was like, I might as well. It's literally 26 degrees outside. Cute and cozy for the video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're still watching, comment this emoji here, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye!